Good morning. Uh, welcome to the Academic Awards Breakfast. I am Mr. Scanlon, the Director of Curriculum and Instruction here. And um, this is actually my first Academic Awards Breakfast in person. Uh, last year we got to do these online. It wasn't as much fun and it definitely wasn't as tasty. So, because um, my wife did not make me a single thing for breakfast <laughs> on my own. Uh, so this day, we do this awards one time, and this is the first time you get 4.0s for consecutive semesters. And then in the spring, hopefully we will see a lot of you back. This whole group is sophomores. So from here on out in the spring, we do an award for everyone that gets a 4.0 every semester they're here at Marion Catholic. So as a sophomore, you might get two breakfasts. After that, you get one in the spring. So uh, very proud of, we're going to have uh, Mr. Kredinsky and Mr. Tortorello are going to speak. Father's going to start us off with prayer in a minute here, but I just want to say how proud I am of all of you coming out of eighth grade, walking in here as freshmen, or sitting at home as freshmen, and knocking out 4.0s for an entire year is extremely impressive. I know when I started high school, yeah, I would not be sitting here. So I'm very, very proud of what you have accomplished. So uh, we're going to go through those, and then when uh, Mr. Tortorello comes up, then we'll announce and we'll come up, and you'll get um, your Marion app, your academic letter. You'll be presented with this. And then also the parents club um, gives a pen and candy bar with that, so we'll package that all up. You come and grab that and you come up here to grab your award. So we're going to go ahead and get started with Father O'Meara, who will start us with our blessing for the day. Thank you, and I can also uh, congratulate everybody. So we're going to uh, bless this food that you're about to eat, and the food that you already ate. <laughs> In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord, giver of life and all good gifts, we are reminded that yours is the earth in its fullness the world and all who dwell in it. We know that it's from your hand that we have received all we have and are and will be. Gracious and loving God, we understand that you call us to be stewards of your gifts and caretakers of all that you've entrusted to us. We gather this morning to honor these young men and women who have worked hard in developing their academic talents and bringing more wisdom to our world. Bless them this morning along with their parents and teachers who have modeled stewardship for them. Bless this food we are about to eat. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Now we'll have uh, Mr. Kredinsky, our school president, a few words. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. You know, uh, this morning we honor 57 sophomores uh, for academic excellence here at Marion Catholic. And I want to take a moment and let that soak in. When you talk about 57, that's nearly one third of your class are here today uh, being recognized. And so we got a third of your class, but you've received a 4.0 or better and you've done that for two consecutive semesters. So we've got 57 of you, 4.0 or better, two consecutive semesters, not one, but two consecutive semesters at a very academically challenging high school. So you got 57, 4.0, two semesters, academically challenging, and you did it while you weren't even in the building. You did it when you were at home, in the middle of a pandemic. Wow. Really? Wow. Uh, you are, I believe, the epitome of Marian Catholic pride. I am sure your families have told you, but I want to tell you also how proud I am of each and every one of you, of what you have accomplished. You are absolutely amazing. I mean, it's incredible. 
In addition to congratulating you, though, I also want to thank you. You see, every single adult here at Marion Catholic High School is here for one reason, and one reason only. It's not the fame, it's not the glory, it's not to get rich or for a great pension. Every person from the front office, every coach, every counselor, every teacher, janitor, administrator, bus driver is here for one reason. It's you. We are here to serve you. We believe that God has a plan for each of you, and God has bestowed upon each of you special gifts. We believe that God ha has called us to serve you so that you may realize your, your full potential. So, when you do something really cool, like get a 4.0 for two consecutive uh, semesters at a very challenging school, we feel good about the small role that we play in helping you to become the best versions of yourselves. For your willingness to accept the challenge and for all of your hard work, I want to thank you. Now, I think it's also very easy that you talk yourself into this whole, hey, this whole high school thing is really pretty easy. Maybe for some of you it actually is. But if you haven't done it already, I'm going to ask that you take time to do something else. I want you to explore everything that Marion Catholic has to offer. Um, I want to challenge you to try something here that you would not normally do. But keep in mind, just keep those grades up, right, while you're doing this. High school is about exploring the opportunities that are before you. Try something that is outside of your comfort zone. Yes, the grades are important, but you are so much more than a GPA. God has a plan for you, and every one of us at Marion Catholic are here to help you realize your full potential. Whatever that means, wherever that takes you. Your full revelation of your plan, your God-given plan, lies in you saying yes to all the opportunities that come into your life. So please, keep up the fabulous work. Really, very, it's excellent. Don't back down from any challenges that you may find. Don't be afraid to try something new or something that might be a little bit intimidating to you. Know that your family at home, as well as your Marian Catholic family, will always have your back. So today, congratulations and thank you. And may God bless each one of you at Marian Catholic High School. And at this time, I'm going to ask Mr. Tortorello, <laughs> Mr. Scanlon, and Mr. Persbillo to come up for the presentation of the awards. Eliza Jane Avarillo. Hey, come on up. We'll present you with your award up here. Isabella Archigo. Braylon Bailey. Ava Beal. <laughs> Francesca Bernardi. Amaya Binder. Shayla Boyd. Candace Bryant.
Brandon Burks. Joseph Butler. Abigail Burns. Lydia Casillas. Michelle Charles. You go, Michelle. Holland Chastain. <laughs> Colin Cezanne. Madison Davis. <laughs> Sabasi Ekona. <laughs> Ava Esparza. <laughs> Caitlin Forrestal. Bryce Glass. L'Oreal Glenn. Jocelyn Guzzo. Josiah Hawkins. <laughs> Nyla Howard. Maya Jackson. <laughs> Amelia Johnson. <laughs> Hannah Lacock. <laughs> Eva Lucina. Jewel Lopez. Aramie Light. John Marcos. Jack Masucci. <coughs> Marley Malone.
Angelina Moore. Nicole Paris. Emma Perchinski. Max Puntillo. Jasmine Rusprus. Mariana Rivero. Aiden Rosas. Zinnia Roses. Delcina Sawyer. Mariah Serrano. Jaden Schillingford. Brianna Stewart. <laughs> Anthony Tellerico. Adora Yude. Sammy Yulouette. Nancy Valdivia. Braden Waddle. Tommy Walsh. Jasmine Washington. Jonah Weathers. Faith Wilson. Valerina Yanez. Congratulations to all of you for such a great accomplishment.
hand it over to Mr. Tortorello, and I hope I will see you in the spring. Thank you, Mr. Stanley, and, and again, thanks to all of you for being here. This is, as Mr. Kreditsky said, a pretty momentous accomplishment in normal times. In normal times. Normally, to get a 4.0 at Marion Catholic High School is incredibly difficult. To do it for two semesters in a row is even more difficult. But to do that given the circumstances that you faced over the last year is extraordinary. So number one, I want you to walk away from this breakfast knowing that we see you. We see the hard work that you have put in and we know that it was hard work. Sometimes there's a negative positive stigma about students who achieve really well academically. What do I mean by negative positive? The stigma is, well, school's just easy for them. They just get it. They just get it. They just get me, and that's why their grades are great. But we know that you put in an incredible amount of hard work to be here. The people who say, oh, it's just easy for them, they just get it. They don't see you study on a Tuesday night. They don't see you having your mom or your grandma quiz you on a Sunday night. They don't see you when you've got 20 minutes before practice starts, taking out your books to get started on your AP World History homework so that you have less of it later on that night. That is the hard work that goes into being a successful. And I want you to know that we see that hard work. We see your hard work. And it is an incredible amount of work. So you should be proud of that and you should know that we see that. The second thing I hope you take away from this breakfast is that no success in life, whether it's academic, athletic, artistic, personal, no success happens in a vacuum. Anybody who is successful in anything is there because they've been surrounded by people that love them and support them and push them. And for you sophomores, many of you are sitting with those people right now. So if you are sitting with your parents or your family, I would like you to take the next 30 seconds to just say thank you. <laughs> now I know what it's like to be a sophomore in high school and have to thank your parents. Thanks, mom. You're great. But moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas, know deep down inside they appreciate your love and your support and your driving. Even if they can only express it in their very teenager way. So thank you guys for thanking your parents. Know that you don't get anywhere by yourself. You always have a community. And that's what we try to build for you here at Marion as well. Your greatest and strongest community is your family, is your home. We try to build another one for you here. And, and I hope you know by the time you graduate from here in a couple of years that you have teachers that care about you, that you have coaches that care about you, that you have administrators that care about you, and that we want for you the best you can possibly imagine. So number one, we see your hard work. Number two, know that you never got there alone. Number three, third thing I hope you take away from today is the importance of balance in life. Yes, this is an academic awards breakfast. And yes, we've thrown out the, the phrase 4.0. We've said, keep up the good work. We've said how much hard work it is. But life is balance. If you look behind me on this wall, you know, it's the history of Marian Catholic. But if you notice, it's held up by four pillars. We are a Dominican Catholic high school, sponsored by the Dominican Sisters of Springfield. And the four pillars of the Dominican life are community, prayer, study, and preaching. Study is one of them. One fourth of life. So it's always important to keep that perspective. That community, prayer, and preaching are the other three fourths. So what do I mean by that? Yes, we want you to be academically successful, but we don't want you to be academically successful at the cost of being a good community member, at the cost of your relationship with God, at the cost of giving to the world 
And when we say preaching, we mean preaching through the pulpit of your life, using your talents to do well for others. Those things are equally important to study. Let me tell you a quick story. A few years ago, I met with a young lady who was a sophomore at the time. Now she's very successful and she's in college. And I met with her in the morning before school. It was her and her father. And she said, Mr. Tortorello, I need to leave Mary. I went, oh my gosh, why? She's a wonderful young woman, one of our best students, one of our best community members. And she said, I just can't handle it anymore. I'm up till three in the morning every night doing all this work, et cetera, and I can't, I, I can't, I just can't do it anymore, so I just have to leave Mary. And I said, well, there's a big jump from that to I need to leave Mary. Let's approach, let's talk through your academic work. And this is a student who's getting 100% in every class, literally 100% in every class. And she would stay up late at night to make sure she had memorized everything and knew everything. And as I talked with her, I said, you know, by 10.30, how well do you know your biology, your chemistry, your numbers? Oh, I think I know about 98% of it. I said, that's great, go to bed. Because at, at that point, if you let perfect be the enemy of the good, you're going to drive yourself nuts. Balance is important. Yes, we want you to be successful. Not at the cost of relationship with others, with God, or the greater good. So we ask you to always keep that in mind. Know when to go to bed. And parents, don't be shy to tell your kid to go to bed. The, the chief strain on this generation of kids, I'm not that old, but I've been here for 12 years working with teenagers. I have seen the shit. The strain is not kids not wanting to do work, the strain is kids feeling like they need to work so hard to be perfect that they'll work their fingers to the bone. So yes, we're proud of you. Yes, we see your hard work. But you need to make sure you have that balance of all four pillars in life. Know when to go to bed. And if you're freaking out about it, come talk to me. I will have the same conversation I have with you that I had with that young lady years ago. I will sit down and talk through what are you working on? How can we make this work in a way that's more balanced? So yes, we want you to be successful, but we want you to be successful in the program.